name is Marco Savoy and this is the Guitar and Coffee Show. In this video I am sharing with you the most common and easiest way to play and understand the 12 bar blues. Not only the 12 bar blues, but I am also sharing with you three guitar licks, bluesy, original, straight from my heart to your improvisation. If you like my videos, consider subscribing. This is the best way you can support this channel. The standard 12 bar blues, despite major or minor, is a progression of 1st, 4th and 5th chord, most typically divided into 3 parts with 4 segments. As you can see, this progression is dominated by the keynote, the 1st chord and the 4th and 5th chord are adding some flavor. Let's take the minor blues of A. So, the 1st chord will be A minor, the 4th chord will be D minor and the 5th chord will be E minor. We can add the dominant 7 to sound more bluesy. Another important aspect of the blues is to play in triplets. So, you play like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But to sound like blues shuffle, you need to skip the two. So, you play 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 1. Maybe it sounds a bit complicated, but once we play, you can recognize the blues right away. So you can play this progression over and over again. You can improvise on top of this progression or even sing on top of this progression. We can use the same progression to play major blues. For example, in the key of C, the first chord will be C major, the fourth chord will be F major and the fifth chord will be G major. Let's try. Wow, this lick number one is covering eight segments out of 12 from our 12 bar blues. It's on top of A minor for four segments, then D minor, two segments, and A minor, two segments. Let's play this riff, let's divide in three parts and let's check how we get there. Half step bend on the G string, fret number seven. On the fret number five, B string, A string. And then a full step bend on the fret number eight, B string. Then a legato from eight to five. Slide from eight to seven. And a legato from seven to five on the G string. Another legato from 7 to 5. And then we start over. But this time we are getting a double stop from sliding from 8 to 7, B string, A string. 
and legato from 7 to 5 B string E string same thing on the G and B string then fret number 10 B string and this part of the riff which is over B minor I have some staccatos and I play a bit harder so it's gonna be on the E string 12 half step bend back to the original position 10 on the B string 13 half step bend original position 10 G string full step bend and A string 12 Don't forget, all the tabs are available on my Patreon page. Beautiful. This lick starts with some double stop notes on the B and A string, fret number 5, E string, coming from 5 to 7 like that. Again. Then we go to the E minor pentatonic. So it's gonna be fret number three B string legato to the B string, fret number two G string and B string, fret number two G string legato to the G string, fret number two D string, G string. Fret number two, D string again. Then sliding on the D string till the fret number seven. Then G string and E string. Then we end this lick beautifully with the E minor chord. tabs are available on my Patreon page. Whoa, this is the way I like bluesy, full of chromatics. So this lick starts on the B string, 15 to 12 in a legato. Then 14 on the G string, back to 12 on the B string. Then chromatic, 13, 14, 15 on the B string. 
A string 12 Slide from 15 to 14 A string 12 on the B string Then G and E string chromatic from 12 to 9 Then coming back 10 Then we have slide from 11 to 12 on G string E string 12 Then we finish this lick again with a E minor chord backing tracks and the tabs on my Patreon page. I hope you enjoyed this lovely lesson. If so, smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. But for now, that's all. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you!